In this video, I don't know. So I gotta get this video done quick because it's raining. It's been raining all day here, just to add insult to injury. And I can hear, just as I sat down and got quiet to make this video, I can hear water dripping on the drop ceiling just above me. So I need to call the landlord guy and let him know that that's occurring. I also have to move things out of the way so they don't get wet. So I'm filming this on the 19th of March, 2020. It's Thursday. Um, a week ago, the same very day, I believe, I was in uh, Reno, Nevada at the Gamma Trade Show when I found out that Adepticon had been canceled. And at that point, at least for me, that was really kind of the first real thing that really affected me as it relates to our current global pandemic. And this is going to be a rambling video, so I'm just already apologizing. But uh, I think on that same day, all of a sudden, like NBA, NHL, all these other things, frankly, that I don't really pay t close attention to, they also all canceled. Um, big history-making uh, things. So unless you've been off somewhere at a, you know, retreat, all cut off completely from, um, you know, any kind of communication for a while, you've heard of what's going on uh, here in the world. It's... Um, it's not great. It is a very, very different world on Thursday, March 19th, 2020, than it was a week ago, two weeks ago. Um, very different. So uh, I just want to touch on a couple of quick things that I know you've probably heard a million times, but wash your damn hands. Do it a lot, all the time. Do it all the time. Uh, social distancing, potentially you've heard of it. It's something that you should pay attention to as much as you possibly can. If you um, have a job that can be done from home, you're probably already doing it that way. If you don't, wash your hands, follow all the other rules. Um, just if, if you hear about some cool new thing that's going on at a bar, if the bar's still open, first of all, what? And secondly, don't go. Uh, just stay away from groups for a while. That's just, I mean, I know you've heard it again, like I said, unless you've been in that retreat. Uh, just, just you're, you're going to have to stay away from people for a while. Initially, it was like, oh, it's going to be two weeks. It'll be fine. But um, I don't know. I mean, I, those of you in the comments are already telling me that I'm overreacting. I really hope so. I really, really hope so. So this is a channel about painting miniatures and, and playing war games and such. Uh, it's supposed to be a fun channel, um, in theory. We're living in a different world, which I've just mentioned, but uh, that doesn't mean that you still don't need distractions. We all need distractions to keep our minds off of everything going on. And, you know, there's been the memes uh, that have been going around. And honestly, um, through all this, I'm really starting to get sick of memes. I think I'm going to be kind of anti-meme very soon. Uh, very pro, just like cat pictures and cute stuff, but memes I'm, I'm, I'm already super tired of. But there's been a lot of them talking about how, as, say, video gamers, um, you know, well, this is what we've been training for, staying at home playing video games. Yeah, that's true. I, I get that. Um, we're more tabletop gamers, which is a social thing where you're generally across the table from someplace else. Most likely, depending on which neck of the world you're in, uh, most likely your game shops are no longer having events. I know the ones here in town are no longer having events. They're open. You can come in and buy stuff, games, paint supplies, whatever. Um, but there's no more Friday Night Magic. There's no more, you know, 40K tournaments. There's no more board game night, any of that kind of stuff. And so those of us who like to do the hobby are kind of being given a pretty good excuse to some degree to sit in our basements or our hobby rooms, wherever we get together, and 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 paint uh, and build and, and spend that time. Um, and I think that if you can, if your job allows it, if your family life allows it, um, 
you're probably not going to be going to too many theme parks. You're not going to be going out on stuff with the kids and things like that. If you've got kids and they're at least old enough, maybe now is not a bad time to try to teach them how to paint. If you don't have kids, now is a good time to try to go through that giant pile of plastic that you might have in your hobby room and um, really try to make a dent in it because going out is not going to be for us for a while. So I want to try to help in some fashion and I'm not 100% sure how yet. I'm I'm thinking about trying to make some sort of online something for people to share their work with. And it's not going to be on Facebook. I've already got the Paint Showcase Club on Facebook. I don't want to do any more with Facebook. Facebook is garbage. I'm trying to figure something else out. Um, so if you've got any ideas, I'm honestly kind of leaning towards like, I don't know, Instagram hashtag and then something that's related to it and whatever. Put that uh, down in the comments below. Um, I've been hearing for years and years about Tabletop Simulator, which is a uh, kind of a board game simulator that you can get for your PC, I believe. I think it's available on Steam. Um, I think I might be giving that a try. Uh, there's also something called Vassal, which if I can figure out anything more about it, I'll put a comment in the, in the description below. There's places that we can still get together. There's things that I want to be able to do. Um, one of the benefits of this being a one-man show is that I don't have to worry about, you know, employees and things like that. This, it's it's literally just me. I get people who send messages all the time and say, oh, yeah, so to whoever gets this, I'd like to talk to Uncle Adam about such and such. It, it's seriously just me. So um, being a lone wolf in this situation, not a bad deal, um, at least for now. We'll see how it goes. I plan on keeping up the Friday videos as much as I can. Um, I can't imagine how I wouldn't be able to unless things really go pear-shaped. Uh, I'm going to keep doing the um, Every Other Sunday show because I won't be traveling much, so it won't be messing up the schedule on that. Um, I hope that, it, that Origins still goes on in June. I, 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 I kind of doubt it, but I hope. I hope Gen Con still goes on in August, but again, I don't know. So um, I just want to tell you that it's super important for your mental health uh, in these completely incredible times that nobody within several generations has ever lived through before, um, if not longer. It's important for your mental health and for mine, frankly, to spend time doing things that you enjoy. And I hope that that's something like miniatures. I hope you can sit and listen to an audiobook or a podcast or a YouTube or whatever. Do that. Work on projects um, that make you happy. Um, I've had a pretty tight stomach, and I don't mean like that in a, like a washboard abs kind of way. I mean like everything has been just internalized uh, for a week now almost. And um, I notice that when I spend time doing something else, that starts to go away. So really keep an eye on your mental health in these times and just spend the time. You may feel like it's useless you know, and it's not productive or whatever, but it really is for keeping you happy uh, or at least something nearing happy to really spend time on doing your hobbies, whatever they be. Maybe it's not war games. Um, I can tell you right now, like I've been playing some video games on and off here and there over the last couple of months. I'm not really interested in playing any war games about shooting right now. Um, not too much. I'm looking for something that's more about exploring. Uh, I'm looking for something that's a little bit more about I don't know. I don't think I'm going to pick up um, Animal Crossing because I'm 48 years old and that seems a little weird. But you know what I mean? I'm looking for something a little bit different and um, something that could be co-op that would be also kind of great. Um, maybe as something to be able to hang out with other people who I can't see anymore for a while. So think of these things. Think of ways that you can keep yourself sane and, and happy because happy and healthy are, are related, number one, and they're also going to be super, super important. Um, going forward. So uh, yeah, again, like I said, I want to try to plan something, some sort, of, some sort of new thing to keep people engaged. I'm going to keep making these videos because I hope that they generally keep you uh, uh, sane as well. Like this one, probably not so much, but I want to keep making the normal videos that I make and teach you things. Um, battle reports might not be a big thing for a while. Not that they've been a big thing ever. I've literally, you know, got one done and one in the can. But um, we'll see how things go. Um, but I just wanted to keep you folks informed and let you know what's going on. And 
remind you to be safe and remind you to keep your mind safe. And um, my wife sent me a text today and she said that, uh, we, you know, we just have to embrace the chaos, um, which is different than like in 40K. That's a different type of chaos, but I think you probably know what I mean. Um, we're definitely going to have to embrace some chaos for a while. And um, we're going to need every kind of thing in our quiver to to make it through. And But we will. So I just wanted to say that and remind people that they need to keep themselves happy um, in these times. And I still very strongly believe the mission of this channel is to teach people about wargaming and about how it can be good for your brain, uh, both as a mental health thing and even just, you know, hand-eye coordination, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, if you've got some friends maybe that you think might be interested, um, tell them about it from a distance potentially. Uh, and, um, and then hopefully maybe the two of you can sit on Discord or whatever and chat while you're painting and um, still keep in touch with each other. Um, so anyway, that's all I've got for now. So stay strong and I hope to be able to see you all soon.